Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson, and in today's video, we're gonna do an unboxing. Here in this box, we've got a bolt-proof hitch. Uh, this is a adjustable ball hitch. Here we've got this box from Bulletproof Hitches. Um, you can see here they make adjustable hitches. Uh, and one thing they've done right here, I can already tell off the bat, is they've done a really good job boxing. We've got tape going around here and multiple staples. Uh, if you haven't seen my Kurt uh, trailer, my gooseneck trailer um, hitch video, uh, lots of issues losing stuff in shipments. So everything looks like it's here, no holes in the packages. So we're starting off on the right, the right foot. And they did such a good job boxing this, I'm actually going to have to pull out my Leatherman here to, to pull it apart. I want some of my normal tool for unboxings, this Milwaukee box cutter. Ooh, we got, we got nice foam in here. That's pretty fancy. Here's our shipping statement. We've got a sticker. So here's that sticker, kind of hard to see, white on white. We've got a packing list. So this came with two standard pins, two R clips, a standard ball, two inch and two and five sixteenths inch, sticker on ball and sticker on hitch. And we've got a signature and a date packaged on January 14th of 2020. Okay, we've got two pins, two cotter pins. What do they call those? These are the R clips. I've never heard them called that, but there you go. Okay. Oh, this thing is heavy. If you haven't seen my last review video, I talked about steel versus aluminum. Here's one of the big disadvantages of steel. And this thing is solid. Definitely gonna be beefy, um, but definitely heavy because of that. Yeah, quite a bit heavier, definitely. I think that's everything inside there. My goodness, when they say bulletproof, I mean, like legit bulletproof. This thing is, what is this, half inch, three eighths. This is pretty beefy. Um, so we got a two and five hit, sixteenths. We got a two inch ball. We got a nice bulletproof hitches sticker there. Here's our six inch drop and our two pins. It's a really simple setup, nice and easy to use. So you might be asking yourself, I just did a hitch review video, um, why am I doing another one? Um, well, for starters, I want to do a comparison. I want to compare steel versus aluminum, um, as well as um, this is simply just a drop hitch. Uh, really basic, rudimentary, you know, this is function over form. Um, I mean, just the thickness and everything here, totally durable. And I screwed up. And the other hitch I ordered was a four inch drop, and this is a six inch drop. So we'll see um, what the differences are. Another reason for this hitch here is weight capacity. This, this um, two and five sixteenths inch ball has a weight capacity of 22,000 pounds, which uh, totally exceeds the weight capabilities of my truck. Um, so there's that. Um, the other Two and five sixteenths inch ball that I've got with the adjustable hitch is only rated up to ten thousand pounds. So, looking at the same ballpark price-wise, uh, we're getting a lot more capable, more durable um, hitch. So this is the heavy-duty hitch from Bulletproof. They also have a medium-duty. The medium-duty they actually space um, these closer together. Okay, so as far as adjustability goes, pretty easy. Um, one thing you don't get with this hitch that some other adjustable hitches have is they have the ability to turn it around and have the ball inside when you're not using it. Uh, I mean, if, if I've got this in the hitch, I'm usually using it and I'm usually towing 80-90% of the time, so it's not a big deal for me. Like I said, I'll probably be down here on the the 6 inch drop setting, uh, which is the reason I got this one. We'll see how it fits in the truck, we'll have to do an install video and see how it looks on the truck, how the trailer sits with it. Um, but again, my main purpose for getting this was uh, weight capacity, which this will do, and also obtaining the drop that I needed. Um, this is in the $300 price range, which is pretty much on par with everything else in the adjustable hitch area. Um, going with steel on this, though, I had a huge weight capacity increase, whereas other options on the market, um, you know, they, they kind of compromise weight capacity for aluminum, which is, is much lighter. I think they said this was 40 pounds. 
Um, I haven't put this on a scale, so I'm not entirely sure what the weight is, um, but it is pretty heavy. One of the reasons why I chose to go with this hitch is because it's so easy to turn this ball over. Um, you can usually change between a two inch ball and a two five sixteenths inch ball. Usually when I rent trailers and equipment, a lot of times those come with a smaller two inch ball, whereas my enclosed trailer and other equipment is a larger ball. So I, I have had problems in the past where I don't have the right size ball, I have to borrow one from my equipment rental place. It's really nice just to have it right here. I can easily flip it over and go on. And this setup with the two pins is much easier to do that than some of the other options I have where you have to completely take apart the whole assembly in order to change out the ball. Again, this thing is built like a tank. I don't know if I can say it enough. I mean, the name says it all, uh, but these things are stout. Uh, probably the best made hitch I've ever seen. And that Kurt um, ball that I have, the two inch drop ball, is really heavy duty also. But um, I would say this is even heavier duty. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. We've got another hitch unboxing. And I cut my hair, if you didn't notice. So let's get into it. I need to work out more.